Hey guys, Rippin' Lips Fishing here. I got my Mystery Tackle Box. It's a walleye edition. I have, this is my first pro box. I bought a, my first one. It was just the little $15 one. I really enjoyed it. So I decided to get the pro box and I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna get. I already have it cut open, but I have not looked what's inside. This is my reaction with you guys. As you can see here, we have the award thing. We have the what's inside. We have a, oh, not gonna say that. And then we have tips and tricks. I'll go over that later. So, first thing up is fireball stand-up jigs. These will be really good for the place I fish, just like Pleasant Hill. They're molded with a short shank, wide gap forward, tie-eye hook. With the color that they have, this would look, look really well with a chartreuse or a green. I kind of like it. The next thing we have is a tournament grade Strike Pro. Beaker 110. I don't know about the color. I like the blue. I don't know about the green and yellow part. And I that red I kind of I kind of like. Uh, I'll see how it that's how it swims next time I go fishing. Let me know if you guys want to see me use these fishing or something. Next we have the Sneak Attack Soft Swim Jig. This color is a, um, if it'll tell me, okay, that does not tell me. I kind of like the color, I like that brown with the glitter in it. I probably won't use it with the jig heads that are in it, I'll probably use it with the fireball stand up jig heads I think that would be a wouldn't be a bad uh, combo right there I could definitely probably bounce these off the bottom if I can get these open okay, we'll open that later and then I got long john new edition lucky john so, well yeah the things lucky john they are length is 3.1 I got eight of them the strong mackerel scent and the color is orange chart or probably orange chartreuse it looks like they're a bit wiggly I like I said this would go great with the fireball jig and I like the way these look I can open these but these have a very good wig oh these definitely would catch a nice saw guy I will definitely use these down there at Pleasant Hill. That's my main place. They have a very strong scent to them. I can tell you that. As soon as I open the package, I can quite literally smell them. Right, next, we have a uh, Vexen internal rattle. Uh, Rattling little super Kisco crankbait. I like the purple on it. Uh, I don't know about the white. The white kind of seems it's a little, little weird. I I like when the light when the white on it is um, shimmering. It might not be a bad little bait. Probably something. I I figure I can catch mostly any medium species with this. I'll have to find out. Last lure and fishing gear is the Maglip 3.0. This thing is, I've never seen something like it. <laughs> um, a nice red bill. The top is a green stripe with a gold, two gold stripes going down it. 
and under. It has nice green with uh, little shapes. I don't know. This is a weird, it's a small, um, small lure definitely. It dives up to 10 feet. This might not be a bad lure. I, I don't know. Uh, everything in this box was the Strike Pro Beakster was $10.99. The Vexen Little Super Co was $7.99. The Northernland Stand Up Fireball Jig was $7.99. The Yakima Maglip was $7.49. Dynamic Lures Sneak Attack Swim Jig was $5.25. Lucky John Long John was $3.99. I also have a nice sticker with Ketchco on it. I like these little stickers that they give you. Alright guys, this is my explanation video. My next video will be me fishing with all these lures. I hope you guys enjoy and keep ripping lips.